Hi, my name is Lisa. I'm a children's librarian in the mountains of North Carolina, and in this video I just wanted to give you about a dozen different things you could use as extension activities for a letter H story time. So whenever we start a story time that's based around the letter of the alphabet, we always put out a card that has the upper and lowercase letter so that children who are not as familiar with the alphabet have a point of reference. And then after we've talked about the shape and the sound that that letter makes, then we would create a puzzle. So I wanted to show you, we've created uh, puzzles using clip art, but you could also buy lowercase puzzles from Lavinia Pop at Teachers Pay Teachers. And then you could find also pre-made puzzles at my teaching station that are uppercase. And they also have some that are black and white, and that would make another great activity to send home with the children, a uh, black and white puzzle that they could color and cut out themselves. So after we've talked about the uh, shape and sound of letter H, I would have all these pieces to the puzzle in my hand, and I would tell the children I'm going to give them clues to words that begin with letter H. And so um, say I was going to give them a clue about the hammer, I would say, oh, this is something you might need to build a house. And they might say wood. And I would say, that's such, you're, you're right, you probably would need wood. But if wood started with an H, it would be hood. Hood. And I don't think you'd use a hood to build a house. So whenever you can, you just want to talk about, play around with the sounds uh, that words make and uh, interact, you know, putting the, the sound of letter H into other words. So hopefully eventually they would think of hammer. And then, you know, hand, if I was trying to get them to think of hand, I might say, this is something that's on your body, but it rhymes with band. And hopefully they would be able to think of hand. And if you're working with a really young crowd, I would just show them the picture. Here's a picture of something that starts with letter H. What is this? Hand and hammock. Hammock is a, a fun one I'll tell you about in a minute. But um, after you've created the puzzle, children are so excited to see that they have helped you make a puzzle that is indeed the shape of the capital letter H. Then we sing a song about it and try to incorporate movement when we can because songs and movement help to um, get to parts of the brain that uh, when you don't sing or you don't move, it doesn't happen. So anyway, um, I would start by singing, we are learning letter H and in our county, the children that are in schools are using a Letterland curriculum and they have an action trick for each letter of the alphabet. And for letter H, it's <sighs> So we incorporate that in our song and we sing, we are learning letter H, letter H, letter H, we are learning letter H. <sighs> Then you're going to sing a song for each picture if you have the time. If not, pick three, three of the pictures. And you're going to ask the children, if you have the time, for an action to do for hammer. So we might just do hammer starts with letter H, letter H, letter H. Hammer starts with letter H. <sighs> and if you don't want to use the Letterland action symbol, you could just point to your mouth as a, a kind of a visual cue to the children. Now we're going to say the sound that letter H makes. Um, and then you just work your way through the puzzle. Um, when I did hammock, I had no idea what kind of action I was going to do. So I just asked the children, and I believe there were as many ideas as there were children there that day. And uh, some of them were very cute, and some of them were very challenging for somebody my age to do. But um, sometimes I just let them each do their own action. Um, as long as they're singing, they can do, they don't have to do, you know, 15 people doing the same action. So after we've made the puzzle, then we would read a book that starts, that has a letter H in the title. And then when that book is over, we would do another extension activity. So like I said, I'm going to share with you about a dozen different activities. Um, and obviously we would not use that many in one story time. I just want you to have a lot to choose from. So Jolly Phonics on the internet, if you look them up, they've got a song for every letter of the alphabet. And they've usually done the song to a tune that you're familiar with. So the letter H song is to the tune of apples and bananas and I would have the children get up and start hopping around and sing I like to hop 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 up and down I like to hop 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 all around I like to hop 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 up and down <laughs> and sing that a couple times and when you sing about hopping around I would have them hop around um, 
Another uh, song that's fun to do for a letter H is Johnny Hammers with One Hammer, but I would change his name to Henry or Harry or Harriet. And of course, you're going to hammer with one hammer, and second verse would be two hammers, third verse would be three hammers, which would mean one foot and two hands, and then both feet, both hands, and finally you're going to be singing five hammers, which goes like this. Johnny hammers with five hammers, five hammers, five hammers. Johnny hammers with five hammers. Now he goes to sleep. And I reverted to Johnny, even though I said I would sing about Henry or Harry but, or Harriet. Um, then another activity oh, for letter H that might think be something you could do on the flannel board is a hunting we will go. A hunting we will go. A hunting we will go. We'll catch a... Have the children say goat and put him in a, and hopefully they'll say boat, um, and they'll they'll start connecting that you're trying to um, you're trying to get them to come up with rhyming words. And again, rhyming words are such a great skill building activity to work on in a story time. So you'll catch a fish and put him in a, and I would pause and see if the children could think of dish. We'll catch a sheep and put him in a cheap. We'll catch a mouse and put him in a house. We'll catch a fox and put him in a box. All right, another extension activity that you could do with letter H is a poem. Uh, it's about houses. And um, I would have the children, after we did this poem, think about how many words did we say that had a letter H. So it starts off, this is a nest for the robin. This is a hive for the bee. This is a hole for the bunny, and this is a house for me. And that reminds me, I had a coworker who did a letter H story time, and she did the whole story time on houses, homes, and habitats. And then for the um, craft at the end of story time, she had the children make a hat out of newspapers, and then they went on a hike around the outside of the library, which I just thought was a lovely way to do a letter H story time. So another activity that you could do is good old head, shoulders, knees, and toes. And in the description of this video, I will link to some variations on that song. Another one is if you're happy and you know it. An old one, but a good one. But I would try to think of only things that had letter H as an activity. So I might sing if you're happy and you know it, hide your eyes or hop around or wave hello. So those are just some ideas to try to keep the kids thinking about the sound that a letter H makes. Another favorite for this uh, story time is Herman the Worm. Now the kids are pretty, some, some children are familiar with this and want to correct you on how you do it, but that's okay. Um, what I like to do, I'm going to link to three different versions of Herman the Worm because we incorporate something from all three versions when we do this in a story time. But what I like to also do is, again, try to think of only, Herman's only going to eat things that start with the letter H. So he's going to eat a hummingbird. He's going to eat a hamster. He's going to eat a, what else? Oh, a hedgehog. He's going to eat a horse and a hippo. So that's another way to make Herman the Worm especially fit into a letter H story time. Another thing you could do a variation of is the, um, and I'll link this in the show notes as well, it's in a dark, dark wood where you're kind of telling a scary story in a dark, dark wood, but instead say in a dark, dark house. And again, as many letter H words as you can think of, uh, incorporate that into the story, maybe um, in a, in a, hallway in a dark, dark hall. There was a dark, dark hat. And in the dark, dark hat, there was a hummingbird. Um, oh, another poem that we got from Mrs. Jones's room, which is a great resource um, for letter story times, is um, H is for hair. H is for hand. H is for houses. Oh, I'm sorry. H is for hair. H, H is for hand. H is for the heels on which we stand. H is for houses here and there. H is for hats seen everywhere. H is for hearts and horses too. H makes me happy. How about you? And you could smile or do a happy dance for that. And they also have another poem, Humpback, What a Whale. Um, and then, of course, you could do the classic um, Little Cat, Little Cat, Are You Hiding Behind? the party hat and then when the children 
take the hat off, there's the cat. And then when I do that, I like to have a cat hiding behind every hat. So I'll say, oh, you found the white cat, you found the black cat, you found the orange cat, you found the striped cat. And I think that might be, oh, I was gonna tell you, for each of our uh, letter story times, we always make up an extension activity worksheet or tip sheet that we keep in a kit so that whatever story time provider is doing that letter story time, they've got a lot of ideas to draw from. So if you would like that, I will put an email here on the screen that you can email me to get that um, extension activity tip sheet which has everything on it that I've just talked about. Another thing we've done is take the um, magnetic letters uh, on the other side of this, it's magnetic, and I would put maybe six or eight different letters and have the children see if they can find letter H among the letters and put, you know, a letter N in there so you could talk about the slight differences between a letter N, lowercase letter N, and lowercase letter H. Then when we're done with our story time, we would come around and stamp every child's hand with a capital and lowercase um, stamp so that especially if we're doing this in a daycare or in a school that um you know and we'll try to do it up on their arm a little bit so when they wash their hands they don't wash it off and that way when they go home we're hoping their caregiver will say what's that on your arm and then the child can say oh yes the lady from the library came and did a letter h story time and hopefully that will turn into and i want to go to the library and uh, We've had a lot of children come and visit us after doing uh, story times out in the schools or daycare centers. The last thing that we do is we usually try to bring around a friend or an item that starts with the letter H. And um, sometimes we'll have large puppets, but I just want you to know it's, it does not have to be large to be magical. So with the letter H, we bring in a little hummingbird and I have the children make a flower with their hand. And I tell them the hummingbird is gonna come get some nectar out of the honeysuckle or out of the hibiscus flower. And then they might, I might prompt them, can you tell the hummingbird? H says, in hummingbird and if they do that then the hummingbird might come and just say oh thank you you did such a good job and I don't know why but that just has been a magical addition to our story times as well so I hope you find something out of all those ideas that would be helpful if you decide you would like to do a letter H story time if you have watched this video and you've thought of some other things that might make good extension activities I would so appreciate it if you would leave those suggestions and ideas in the comments below this video to just make Get a richer resource for the next person who stumbles across the video. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, that's all I have. So in the words of Tigger, ta-ta for now.